Okay, so look at what just arrived at my door. Meta new VR headset, the Quest 3. It is a little bit thinner than Quest 2, has more resolution, but the best feature to me is definitely the color path through. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to use it to create our first mixed reality application using Quest 3. Now, lucky for you, there will be two more tutorials about mixed reality and Quest 3 here on this YouTube channel. But at the end, I will also release an exclusive tutorial on my Patreon where we will make an XR game from scratch using all of the techniques we learn. So if you want to support my work and get access to exclusive content, join us, link in the description below. A big shout out also to the sponsor of this video, Wonderland Engine. Wonderland Engine is a game engine that focuses on making both augmented and virtual reality games on the web. It is free to download, easy to use, and I also made a tutorial about it on this channel to get you started. You can of course find it in the description below, so big shout out to them for their huge support and without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so to make a Quest 3 mixed reality game, the first thing we need to do is of course to create the project in Unity. So let's go inside the Unity Hub. And now the first thing that you want to make sure is that you have an install of Unity which support Android. So for example, in my case, I have got here 2022.3 which has both Android and Windows for its platform. Otherwise, you can click here to add modules and you can here add the Android build support module. Now, of course, you can use any version of Unity above 2021, so feel free to choose the one that you like. Now, anyway, let's go to Project and let's create a new project by clicking on New Project. There you go. Make sure that the version of Unity you want to use is checked at the top here. And we can choose here a certain template. Now, as you can see, there is the VR template over there, but to show you every step of the way, we will do the VR setup ourselves. So here, make sure to select 3D Core. We can give a certain name like Crest3XR app. There you go. And we can click on create project. Okay, here it is. Beautiful. Unity is now finally open. And the first thing we want to do inside Unity is to enable XR in this project. For this, we need to go to edit, project settings. And down below, we can find here the XR plugin management. If we select it, we can then click on install XR plugin management. There you go. Now, because this version of Unity has both PC and Android, as you can see, we have a tab here for PC and another for Android. But now to make sure that the Quest 3 is working here on the Unity editor, but as well when we build the game, we need to enable Oculus here for the plugin providers and do the same here on Android. Okay, now that we have Oculus selected for both PC and Android, we can close these windows and here is the important thing to know about the next step. Well, the important thing to know is that we have two roads to go from here. One with the Oculus integration and one using the Unity XR interaction toolkit. They both have different benefits. Oculus integration integrates more easily some specific feature of the Quest. And Unity XR interaction toolkit is more cross-platform and cross-device. Now, if you want more information, you can watch this video I made. But in our case, we are going to use ta -da, the Oculus integration right here that you can find on the Unity Asset Store page. Now, to add it to our project, we simply need to click on Add to my asset, and then you should see this open in Unity. We can click on Open with the Unity Editor. Okay, and here you go. As you can see, we can see now that the Oculus integration has opened with the Package Manager. Now, make sure that the version is above 57, right? Now, in my case, I've already downloaded it on this computer, but otherwise, you need to click on the Download button over there, and after it is downloaded, you can directly import it inside this project by clicking here on Import. Beautiful, now we can have a look at everything that this package contain. We can simply now click on Import again. Okay, now if the package asks you anything, just say yes to it. Yes, we want to send usage statistic. Yes, we want to show the assets. Yes, we want to clean up. Yes, we want to clean up package. Yes, we want to restart. <laughs> yes, we want to upgrade. Yes, we want to restart. And there you go. After everything, the Oculus integration package is now inside our project. So we can just close the package manager and get started on our game. Now, just before getting started, we want to make sure that all of the project settings are ready to deploy to the Quest 3. But there is a great tool made by Oculus to know if we have correctly set up uh, the project for the Quest 3. So to do open it, we need to go to Oculus Tools and here the Project Setup Tools. 
And there it is. Now make sure to apply all of the things that it wants on both PC and Android. This is what I'm going to do now. There it is. As you can see, Oculus is happy with all the settings on PC. Now let's do the same for Android. Beautiful. Now the project is finally set up for the Quest 3 on both PC and Android. Now, one last thing that I want to do before we can finally get started on our scene right there is to go to File, Build Setting. And as you can see, by default, the Windows Mac Linux platform is selected, but we want it to be the Android. So let's select it and click on Switch Platform. Okay, here it is. As you can see, the project now is switched to the platform Android. We can close this windows and get started finally after all of this on our project. So first thing, we want to replace here the main camera by the OVR camera rig. So let's search here on project for OVR camera rig. There you go. We can select the second one. So this one and we can drag it in our hierarchy. Beautiful. Now I want to add some hands and some controllers to the players. So for this, we can, instead of OVR camera big, search for the OVR controller prefab. Perfect. Now let's navigate under here the left hand ensure and the right hand ensure and drag the OVR controller prefab under the left controller ensure and the right controller ensure. There you go. Now for the OVR controller prefab under the right hand, we can select the controller to be our touch. And for the OVR controller prefab under the left hand, select the L touch. Beautiful. Now we can do the same, but this time for not controllers, but end tracking. So for this, let's search for the OVR end prefab. And we can drag one directly under the left hand and short this time. And another one under the right hand and short. So as you can see by default, the OVR end prefab is already set for the end left on all of these components. So let's do the same this time for the right end and instead set hand right on the OVR end, hand right on the OVR skeleton, and hand right on the OVR mesh. Beautiful. Now we have a camera rig that is set up with both controllers and end tracking. But we are making a mixed reality game, so we of course need to add the path through features. So for this, let's right click in the hierarchy, create empty and call this one path through. Beautiful. I'm going to reset this component and add a path through layer, so OVR path through layer right there. We want to set the placement not to overlay, but to underlay. And there you go with this component, we should see a path through, but we need to do some settings on the OVR camera rig as well. Now, the first one is to go under the center eye ensure. And because we can see the real world, we don't want to see the skybox. So here I'm going to uh, set the clear flag to solid color and not skybox. And for the background, we can select it to be this black color. Okay, but that's not it. Now we have the settings correctly done for the camera, but we need to do it as well for the OVR manager that we can find here on the OVR camera rig. Now, as you can see, the first thing we want to make sure is that Quest 3 is supported. So make sure to enable it over there. Finally, we can go down below and for the end tracking support, we can select it to both controller and hands. And then down below, as you can see, we have a path through support that we can set to support it. There you go. And here, make sure as well to set the inside path through, enable path through to enable right there. Okay, so now to test the application, I'm simply going to right click, go to 3D object and create a very basic cube. We can reset it at zero, zero again and place it a bit in front so that as you can see here, the camera can see it. I will do also a little rotation on the cube and maybe we can scale it to something like uh, 20 centimeters. Oh, and it seems a bit too far away right now, now that I have scaled it. So let me just set the pivot to global and try to approach it a bit better like this. Okay, it should be better. Okay, here it is. Now it is finally time to test our game. Now, this is a bit the same as for the Quest 2. We can test directly the Quest 3 game using the Unity editor. For this, you need to enable the Oculus Link. Now, the first step for enabling the Oculus Link is to download here the Oculus desktop application and then plug your headset with a USB-C cable. And you should see here the Quest 3 device appearing if you do so correctly and that you go on the Quest 3 and enable Oculus Link. Now, there is a hidden setting to enable path through that you can find in parameters, beta. And as you can see here, 
Now, it is in French in my case, but you should see here, path through enable via Oculus link that you need to enable. You can also enable the other setting as well, which are for the eye tracking and body tracking. But anyway, if you manage to correctly set up the Oculus link for your Quest 3, you can test the Quest 3 application directly here on the Unity editor. So let's find out if this works by clicking on play. And there it is. As you can see, it is working. I have end tracking, which is already working, as you can see from, well, the black hands that are following my fingers. But also, if I grab my controllers, tada, it switch and correctly display the Quest 3 controllers. And I can have a look at the cube in front of me. But as you can see, from your point of view, everything is black. But it is working on the Quest 3, I promise. It's just that, by default, the Quest 3 is showing inside my headset, but it's not showing on the Unity editor. Now, you will have to believe me on this one. But of course, for the ones that are not believing me that this is working, I will have to, of course, build the application not here on Unity, but directly to the Meta Quest 3. Now, to build the project to Quest 3, we need to go to File, Build Settings, and here make sure that the current scene is added in the Scene in Build by clicking on Add Open Scene. And the next thing is, of course, to click on Build and Run. But wait, before doing so, we can export a game directly to the Quest 3 only if the Quest 3 is on developer mode and that it is currently plugged to your PC with a USB-C cable. Now, to set the Quest 3 in developer mode, you can do so using the Oculus mobile app by selecting your device, going into the settings and enabling from there the developer mode. And if you have successfully managed to do so, you should have a Windows on your Quest 3 asking you to share some information with the PC if you trust it. Now, anyway, if you succeeded to make all of this, we simply need to click on Build and Run. You can give a name. I'm going to give the name Test. And after a few seconds, Unity should find your Quest 3 that is plugged and build the game to your device. And there you go, as you can see, after waiting a little bit, we have launched the application directly on the Quest, and the beautiful cube is in front of me, everything is working well, and this means that now we have successfully managed to make a Quest 3 application with Paththrough. But I have so much more thing to share with you guys, so make sure to subscribe to not miss the two next episodes that will be here on YouTube. Before finishing this video, make sure to check out Wonderland Engine, the sponsor of this video, which, by the way, already support Quest 3 and have their own tool to recreate the same thing for web VR. You can find the tutorial I made about Wonderland Engine in the description below. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.